there's not that much of a tech presence in this area. Local developers, for example, they have to rely on having to leave the area to reach those opportunities because they're not here. My name is Roman Jacques. I am a Flutter GDE, Google Developer Expert. I am also a lead organizer at GDG Lawrence and a mentor for the Northeast. Leaving my whole life behind when I migrated from the Dominican Republic. Like being 17, leaving your whole world behind, leaving your friends behind. That was a little tough for me. Also, the language barrier, adjusting to a new uh, country, a new culture. When we got to like, New York, it was five of us living in one bedroom apartment in New York. Back when I was in the Dominican Republic, I did not have access to a computer. I had to do my GED. And I remember walking by a computer lab at the place where I was doing it uh, in Manhattan. I saw like a bunch of computers and I saw like a, like a web browser in there. And then when I sat down and I put my, my fingers in a computer, I'm like, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. <laughs> I worked a bunch of like odd jobs, a factory, fast food restaurant, telemarketer at a copy shop. I remember working at a cleaning company in the closet where the, where the mops were. I had like stashed away a little, a little C++ book. I went to a community college in the Bronx and I then completed my bachelor's in computer science, yes. One of the most challenging moments at the beginning in my career was actually proving that I, that I deserved a shot in the industry. Back then, I did not have the information that people have right now. I didn't know how to reach out to local developer communities. I didn't know they even existed. So I felt like lost, like I didn't know where to go. I remember I had to drive quite a bit to get to the nearest meetups and local developer events. When I heard about these things that Google was doing around the community developers, I definitely was drawn to it. The passion of these organizers to uh, pass down knowledge and to give us the resources that Google was putting out there for the community was amazing. So I said, I want that closer to me. There's a lot of pride in our culture. There's a lot of pride to be from here because there's a lot of history in this town an amazing, thriving community. You see like amazing talent, nice murals, a lot of character on its streets. What truly is valuable from Lawrence is its people. Right, so Flutter, Flutter is not just for, apply, can, can be applied to many different fields. This is one example. I was actually born in Vietnam, Saigon in Vietnam. I lived there for most of my life. And I came to the U.S. because I was a refugee from Vietnam. Our entire family left the country on a fishing boat. When we arrived in the U.S., we arrived in Worcester, Massachusetts. We were sponsored by local community, churches, you know, um, those kind of people that gave us a place to live. I got my master's degree in computer science. I was working for Philip for a long time, and that's where I met Roman. And he's kind of like me, very passionate about technology. That's when I first actually had some exposure to GDG. I did not know anything about GDG at that time. It was challenging at the beginning because people didn't trust that there were people with good intentions giving this rich amount of resources with nothing in return, but just the benefit of the community. I love the fact that, uh, Jose, you stepped up. Like, in every, like, almost every session, you were helping people out. My name is Jose Ramos. I am a computer science student. I came to this country seven years ago. I was actively looking for a community, in tech in specific, and uh, I was going to Boston, uh, traveling all, all the way there uh, to get it because I didn't find any clothes. It was difficult for me because I was a full-time student working part-time and I had to spend money on gas. 
how would you expect like our kids to be motivated to even contribute to their own communities and be an influencing change in our communities if they don't have the means or even the platform to implement those things? They have to leave for those additional options. So yeah. We get all the information ready. I usually go to the our community page. And this is where like all our events are posted. Here I usually have like the GDG Lawrence dedicated chat. Oh, look, see, they did complete the certification. Okay, so one more to go. Awesome, great, great. At GDG Lawrence, our grand vision was to be the bridge between our community, our local educational institutions with what's on demand out there in the job marketplace. So GDG Lawrence wanted to bridge that gap. Here in Lawrence, we have a big Latino community. So here it's really good that we can support each other and you can find people who can help you to find resources. What we wanted to do with GDG Lawrence was to train the members in our community because they are the ones who know the most what the pressing problems are in our community. At the same time, that would upscale their careers, give them uh, better options, give them another career path they can contribute to modernizing the community and improve the processes. It would be like a win-win uh, situation. This lab is basically go over the basic structure of the Flood app. The experience that we gain, you actually take it into the workplace as well. I find that is a very valuable experience for all of us. I see people giving testimonials to us saying, I was able to get a good job and I was able to save my house. I was able to move to another state and provide for my family. And that's why I like to see you, you're, you're the future, Ernesto. And that's why I, I'm doing this. Now. We are composed of amazing individuals that come from different backgrounds, uh, different ethnicities, especially supporting the black and brown and Latino folks in the area and providing them with opportunities for them to excel in life uh, and in their careers as well. I know that this was the right place, the right time uh, for GDG Lawrence to be created here and to be established here because the community needed something like this. And, and I'm so glad that they were able to embrace it. And I know that there will be GDG Lawrence for years to come. That's for sure.